dear ones this is a timeless near personal love and spirituality reading for whomever is guided to watch it with me queen of cups tarot take note that the reading can be in the reverse for some of you it has come to my attention that uh, some of you do not get the notification for my videos even if you have chosen to have the notification bell on and i'm so sorry for that and i have put up a troubleshoot on my community section to solve this and you can also write comments there and tell me about the issues so youtube can do a more thorough investigation if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading you can turn to the love readings for aquarius and pisces season that is up or the pick a card readings and near personal readings on the first page of my channel and i will start shuffling your cards and i use the golden universal tarot with roberto de angelis so when i open your deck here i see uh, ace of cups uh, with the lovers in the reverse so uh, from my point of view this seems like a relationship that where maybe only one person have their heart open or only one person feels the love in the relationship because it's unbalanced it's um, like a love relationship that have tilted because um, there's a one-sided love here or maybe one person has uh, has an open heart and another person doesn't so i Pull the divine with love and light and here we have the eight of pentacles together with the ace of cups so it seems like you're supposed to work on this relationship i want to have clarification on that so i use the energy oracle cards to see what's going on uh rest and rejuvenation okay so um it's not time for work on that relationship. It's more time to work on yourself and your own self-love at this point. Uh, this actually came for a near personal reading I did uh, the other day. Uh, so <laughs> it's still on. And uh, it's about uh, self-love, self-respect and uh, continue working probably on your inner space. Like making your own... Um, self-love being balanced because if it's like this that you face relationship on the outside that's unbalanced it's mirroring something on the inside where your your love towards yourself isn't balanced and your self-respect isn't balanced uh, we have been conditioned to turn the other cheek and to kind of do the best in all situation which have turned maybe 80 percent of the population into um, sweet lambs that's uh, very easy to victimize it doesn't mean that you shouldn't turn your other cheek you can be very stoic and kind of uh, withstand a lot of uh, crap happening to you because if you are a person that don't have big trauma or big wounds uh, whatever other people do towards you won't trigger you particularly much because no one can touch a person of tau a person that's healed um, but uh, when we have not come that far with our personal development and we always turn the other cheek it makes us uh, into people that is not really ourselves and we don't stand in our own strength in our own soul instead we are letting uh, rules and values and moral principles uh, regulate uh, our behavior uh, which make us not being the force of God that we were supposed to be in our lives because we are all sprinkles of God being sent down here to uh, do our spiritual work and if we are just like pushovers uh, we won't be able to do that spiritual work the most um, um, the nicest people is the people that uh, don't shut up about injustices either it's made towards themselves or others maybe it's uh, nicest to stand up on the barricades when it's uh, injustice that's being done towards others but uh, i often take um, um, martin luther king as an example and he was black and he stood up for uh, the rights of black and no one can argue that uh, in doing that he was a good person he did a good thing uh, of course if you're racist you can argue but <laughs> you wouldn't be right okay and um, so we need to be strong and stand in our power 
uh, we can let a lot of um, things slide past us because it doesn't really touch us and maybe we can see that the other person is hurting more than what we are doing at this point but at some uh, but somewhere our boundaries needs to be and I think this uh, group of cards that have come here it's about this you know finding out who you are on the inside making your body into a temple a beautiful home uh, so whatever happens on the outside you will still uh, taking real good care of yourself on the inside so you have somewhere to go when there's a storm uh, so for example if you um, have problems at work uh, you can go into meditation and still feel happiness so happiness is our goal here and to find happiness you need to make um, your foundation rock solid and the foundation you have is your soul being uh, temporarily in a body and that's your foundation right now uh, so you need to take care of this body of this temple uh, the emotions that swirls through it and the energies that swirls through it uh, try to balance it uh, and um, you can use uh, different techniques for example you can feel like how your body feels exactly right now what kind of emotions are flowing through you right now good or bad it doesn't matter just roll out the red carpet to whatever emotion is there. Usually the bad emotion are a little bit louder. So you might they might catch your attention first. So give them your attention. What is the loudest feeling inside my body? The one that's easiest to detect right now. And stay with it and nurture it. And if it's a, kind of what we say a bad feeling, it's just vibration. So but if you feel really, if you really go and investigate this, you will notice that bad feelings and good feelings probably feels um, very much the same. It's just on different frequencies a little bit. Uh, but it can be equally painful to love with your whole heart as it is to be heartbroken and both can bring tears to your eyes so it's similar energies it's just the judgment we have put on them as good or bad so if you have a, a bad feeling uh, after you have felt it through and maybe done a little bit exercise with it ask why it's there and look if it has a shape momentum color texture so on uh, there's a there's a exercise for that on the first channel page dealing with pain uh, so you can do that with this um, uh, energy and uh, then you can balance it up with um, for example gratefulness uh, feeling grateful over something usually put us immediately on a very high frequency of happiness um, making us grateful for even small things like peeling off the uh, shell of an orange or smelling the spring in the air or something simple or just being grateful for that promotion you got uh, this year or whatever is putting you on a good in a good mood uh, you can also use um, uh, a mantra which uh, I like and it's uh, enjoy in myself enjoying myself I have joy in myself uh, so this usually puts me uh, uh, on a level of, of joy and then you can go through, go through your body again. You, usually you find a little bit more pain and you do the exercise again and you change your frequency after that to enjoy in yourself or gratefulness. And this is how you uh, balance yourself on an energetic level uh, without having a healer or a similar uh, or a psychotherapist or something else present that can help you uh, in in other ways that uh, is not your this is what you can do on your own without help from the outside and um, uh, so this is one thing you can do and this will lead to you getting to know yourself better and when you know yourself better you will also know your own reaction it's like the uh, the nordic god odin uh, he put one of his eyes in the wisdom well so it's like putting it here you know in the wisdom well having uh, attention like half of his attention uh, inside his body okay how do I react uh, on this what do I feel what is my instinct what is my intuition uh, so you might be dealing with this situation if we just deal with it through our conditioning we will um, just follow our upbringing and and the rules we have in the culture or the social context uh, and uh, we won't really be attentive to what we really feel 
or our own instincts in this situation. So for example, we are dealing with an authority and we're just following the social protocol of how to be nice. Uh, but if you are listening into this, having one of your eye in the wisdom well, uh, you will be able to feel, okay, I like this. I don't like this. I think this is a good idea. I think this is a bad idea. I want to go there. I don't want to go there. And this is when you start to notice this, you just have to notice it in the beginning. Like, I like this. I don't like this. But eventually you will also have to, uh, <laughs> you will have to communicate this in every situation. And that's where you start to build your boundaries. You start to define who you are and what you want and kind of what you don't want maybe <laughs> as well. And that's your boundary. So uh, this is like a spring cleaning of your house, which you are doing in the power of yourself. So um, I call <laughs> I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. I've forgotten where I were. And we have the king of swords in the reverse with the ace of cups in the reverse. And I think this is your counterpart. And it might be a, a person that comes off as uh, having a very blocked heart, like they don't have any emotions. And, and this is, um, uh, I think one of you have been maybe a little bit overly emotional and the other one has, you know, put a damper on their own emotions so they can't feel uh, if they like things or don't like things. They can still be very judgmental though, uh, but they, they use their mind and not their instincts and their intuition so much to... Uh, determine if the situation is good or bad they are more searching like their uh, library of experience okay so can I trust this person so it can easily become generalizations like if you meet a person that uh, doesn't have their front teeth uh, okay I can't trust this person because I've seen in movies and other things that these people are thieves or poor and therefore thieves uh, so the mind can make jump into Conclu conclusion that might be true or might not be true sorry for that out to focus okay and my throat <laughs> so um what i'm seeing with this is that this probably this person holds a key to you needing to become a little bit more rational and a little less um kind of um um martyr we can easily be a martyr if someone hurts our feelings they wasn't supposed to do that. They should follow some invisible rules like this with turning the other cheek. They should have been like me. They shouldn't have stepped over my boundaries, which I didn't say that they were there, but I, they should have known. They should never have done that. They are wolves. They are predators. And it might be true, but um, you shouldn't put your responsibility for yourself onto another person. You shouldn't be like an open target, so an easy victim to whomever want to come and victimize you. Uh, so I think this person, uh, even dressed like a wolf or a predator, uh, was coming here to teach you to have boundaries, to also be able to defend yourself and your heart and not let yourself become heartbroken or used or abused or in other ways. So um, I said this before that this person probably needs to open their heart, but not before you have learned uh, to be better on guarding yours. So that's their first mission. Okay. So I call the six elements and here we have a trio of wands with the ace of cups. So this trio of wands is when you start to communicate your instincts, your intuition, your feelings, and you, you don't put, um, you still have the responsibility for your own feelings. So you don't say, I have these feelings, you need to do whatever I want. So I won't be, won't have to have these feelings. It's not like that. It's more like, uh, uh, land and ocean like the waves are coming in so you can tell the person I'm not feeling good about this situation uh, I I don't want this other person to be here you know we were recently in a fight uh, so I don't appreciate you have invited this person so this is what you say to the land here but the land says well and uh, now this person is invited and uh, I won't go and uninvite him, him or her uh, so you will have to deal with it and then you deal with your own emotions okay and you decide okay so am I going to stay at this um, this gathering even though this person is here 
or am I going to walk away? And that's your decision. It's your responsibility. And this is also where you use self-control and boundaries towards yourself. You might have looked forward to this gathering, but then uh, you need to take this new parameter into uh, the calculation and decide what you want to do with it. Uh, so it's about um you know knowing who you are and defining yourself in the world this is what i want this is what i don't want this is how i will decide this is what i want to do and you do it kind of in a compromise with other people but you're also being very straightforward with the things you can't compromise with and no one tells you what the rules are that you need to stay or you should go uh, you do that yourself and that's your responsibility Okay, so six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether, three of pentacles in reverse, <laughs> to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear viewers. So I want them to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So the cards that fell out was talk, uh, telling me a story about you uh, being in this situation and feeling no support from the people around you. And still, you need to choose the things that's best for you. Because uh, we really want this support from others. And if they don't give it to us, we might um, uh, start to compromise because we want to be like part of the tribe. We want to be part of the... Uh, social context we don't want to lose our partner our best friend our family or whatever so we start to behave and we start to compromise ourselves and we start to uh, like back down from the boundary that we set and it seems like this is not allowed for you in uh, this part of your life uh, you are supposed to have a lot of um, self-control and be able to survive if a, a person that you lean towards is betraying you by, for example, inviting your enemy here uh, and still be able to take as good care of yourself as you wanted the other person to take care of you and not, um, not betray yourself in this situation. Uh, so you're going to be tested uh, probably with people betraying you, not working together with you, not following the social rules or how you, they were supposed to behave to be good people. Uh, so you need to realize this, that you, you need to be strong in this situation. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in for a few seconds here. So this is your future and this is your now and this is your past. So in the past here we have a Knight of Swords in the reverse with the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. So I think this is someone that kind of <laughs> they love you but they are behaving the opposite. They are acting like they don't need you in their life. So and this is probably a mask that they have on uh, because they have uh, turned off their heart chakra um, due to being hurt um, at some point and uh, so they want to come off as they don't need other people because then other people can't hurt them and this is probably something that you need to learn or you probably have learned this in in cycles but you might need to relearn it and to be actually able to stand on your own two feet even if it's not uh, particularly funny and here is a five of wands uh, together with this uh, Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. And what I'm seeing here is a situation where the person is not able to act particularly mature or nice. They are act actually acting a little bit like they should have been your friend, but they're acting like uh, your enemy. And that's very hurtful. But it's rigged like this uh, because you are supposed to learn something from this uh, situation but it might be a person that loves you deeply but come off as they don't love you and hurt you a lot and mistreat you and and um, kind of act juvenile and immature and their feelings are important your feelings are not important things like this so um, and you have probably seen them ha sitting a little bit on their high horses when it comes to moral that you shouldn't behave like this or you shouldn't behave like that but they are allowed to behave in and these different shape or forms that's not particularly nice uh, so it's different rules also and I think they can 
impose those rules on you because you're trying to be a, a good girl or a good boy. And uh, so it's easy to make you feel ashamed of yourself when they say, well, I thought you were a good person and now you did me like this. And you are immediately, oh, no, no, uh, I didn't mean it. Well, they can do this towards you again and again and again and again, and you tolerate it. So, and it's funny, but it's the dynamic of this being unbalanced, and it's you doing this towards you. They are just defining your buttons and press pressing them, and you let them instead of saying, Well, you did this to me, so I thought it was okay to behave like this, and I actually wanted you to see that it's hurtful. So, please don't do that towards me again, and I won't do it to you. So you need to be a little bit more hardcore is what I'm feeling. Okay. And this is in the now. And we have um, a nice queen of pentacles. I feel these, uh, the chariot here and the queen of pentacles is you working on this, like rebalancing yourself because you knew that the situation was imbalanced. You didn't use your judgment skills. You just let your fear kind of push you into behaving like a servant to a lot of people, like being super, super loyal, um, maybe even when the situation didn't call for you being loyal. But here you have started to get a grip on yourself and, um, you know, start to get a little bit more control over yourself and, you know, premeditate uh, what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to accomplish, how you can love and cherish others and yourself in the same time. So um, you're starting to uh, kind of um, build this foundation for yourself and also figuring out where you want to go. I'm thinking it's a lot to do with healing. You you don't feel healthy, maybe emotionally healthy, and you want to move towards becoming emotionally healthy and be able to take better care of yourself. So this seems uh, good. And this is in the future. And we have an Eight of Cups in the Justice and Hierophant in the Reversed. So this is, um, we have a couple here as well, uh, King of Wands and Queen of Wands. So again, it feels like someone is sitting on their high horses and kind of dooming you as the uh, bad man or bad woman uh, that should have been able to behave better. But you are going to have to push, push um, towards that and uh, not agree with it. And even maybe sacrifice the situation and walk away if necessary. Not forever, always. It might be just not going on that party if that's how you feel. Uh, like, okay, so I, I don't want to be here if my friends have invited my worst enemy. Or uh, you could be like this. Uh, I don't care if, she, if this person, he or she is here. I'm going to have fun anyway. So that's up to you to decide. But here you might have decided that, no, these people, uh, they don't take me seriously. They think that they can disrespect me like this and uh, that they would get away with it, but they won't get away with it. So it looks like you, you are going to have to stand your ground here and even give consequences for... Uh, how people are treating you that you can't uh, you you train people on how they are allowed to treat you with how uh, you um, you deal with what they are doing or saying and if you let certain things pass all the time they might uh, start to take more room and feel like they can treat you however and that's a little bit how I feel and what you need to you know um, you need to you need to fix this, <laughs> basically. You need to retrain uh, your group of people of, on how they are allowed to treat you. Uh, so here in the past, we have a page of swords. So this I'm feeling is an awakening epiphany that something isn't right and that your inner child is, it has said this your whole life, the same darn thing. But be, uh, before this, you believed what the other person said or what the other people said or your parents said and you betrayed your little inner child, but here it's it hasn't died, it hasn't gone away, it still says the same thing, that this is not right, I don't want to be treated like this. Um, and we have a seven of cups, so this is you, this is the shame that you have felt, uh, you have felt like I wasn't allowed to do that, I shouldn't do that, if I do this, they will think like this, or they will feel like this, I should be a good person. But here you have realized that this is how you have kept yourself in a very unsettling um, 
state. It's like you have not been able to have any real ground underneath your feet. It has actually been a swamp. Um, and in that swamp, it's also a wave machine that has pushed you like this. So uh, now you have realized that you need to take responsibility for your own emotion and people are not um, they shouldn't have that kind of power over you so that they can trigger you into shame uh, just for you being you or standing up for what you believe in or how you want to be treated. So here you're going to have to be strong and deal with the emotions that comes like with this wave in this swamp and to look at them and see how they have been like the emotions inside of you have been able to keep you captivated. Like one person says one thing or push one of your buttons and there have been chaos inside of here. So you have learned to, I can't do that or say that because I'm, I'm going to feel bad inside. And now you are ready to deal with the consequences on, of feeling bad inside. It's not the end of the world. It's just some frequency vibration that comes through you. And they are there, of course, shame is there for a reason. You're supposed to feel ashamed if when you did something bad towards uh, someone. But some people have gone a little bit far with this. It's like a pendulum that has swung a little bit too much onto the Jesus quality with just turning the other cheek, not being like, uh, this is also <laughs> kind of the card for Jesus. But when he drove out the merchandisers from his father's temple, so you driving, driving out the merchandises from your own body, temple. Um, so this has become a little bit lopsided. And so it's very easy to shame certain people into behaving in the way we want so we can manipulate them. And that person needs to become strong inside themselves so people can't manipulate them like that anymore. Getting the red cheeks and, you know, running and doing the thing the other person said because they felt this shame. Uh, so it's about uh, learning to deal with the emotion that comes instead of immediately becoming obedient. And here we have an ace of coins in the reverse. So uh, it's things that you want uh, in certain situations. You have dreams, you have needs, you, you want people to like you, love you, support you. And uh, so uh, you have been become conditioned to behave in certain ways so you will be able to keep this. Uh, so they will continue working on your common dream together or they will continue feeding you or you will be able to still live in the house if you pay rent and things like this. <laughs> but here you might have to forego certain things. If there's a catch, it's almost like someone coming and saying to you that, uh, well, I want to blackmail you because I know this about you. And uh, I can threaten your very existence with this, what I know. And uh, you will have to pay me uh, this amount of money for me to uh, keep my mouth shut. At least this week. Maybe I come back next week and ask for more. And, and you will have to deal with the consequences of what this other person uh, knows or threatened to spread or threatened to do. Uh, and um, uh, not be um, enslaved uh, to this person's uh, trials to manipulate you or take control over you. So you might have to forego things that you wanted uh, because uh, you don't want to be a slave to someone else. So this with the blackmailing of, of course, um, not what will be happening on a regular basis. It's just like a picture I want to paint in front of you how people can blackmail you in different scales. Like if you don't cook dinner to me, I will soak the whole evening and destroy our evening and you dreamt of a nice evening together with this person so the blackmailing can be in different levels and then we had the ten of wands so this was something you didn't want to you didn't want to take this decision or you didn't want to uh, have this kind of burden you just wanted a nice night okay you didn't have time to cook the dinner the other person could just have helped you but now they are choosing to the silent treatment and sulking and and not discussing things with you. So there's a lot of uh, pressure here. And you don't have a partner, it seems, to talk with, to deal like to deal out this responsibility. It's like it's all on you. And someone is trying to manipulate you to uh, follow uh, their directions. So it's very heavy on you uh, to have to do this uh, on your own. There's no help is what I'm seeing. 
and then we have the three of cups <laughs> so it kind of says that if you just shut up and cook the dinner then people will be nice and you will be included again um so this might be how things have gone a little bit up and down like waves again is what i'm feeling in the past where you try to uh, you try to say no but people kind of broke you to um to give in and to compromise anyway even though it wasn't really fair but at least you were allowed to be with them or you know and they sh they show a smile at the dinner when you finally cook that that dinner for them so um it seems like you were still a little bit underneath the boot here because it it was too heavy on you so you couldn't really you know do revolution here because you still needed the harmony kind of you still needed people to love you and to be nice towards you and uh, whatever price you had to pay uh, you did it because you wanted a nice night out or you wanted them to be happy or uh, you didn't want the word to come out or whatever you know this hostage situation that you were in uh, so and this is in the now and we have a three of swords underneath a page of swords so this little page still has got it don't want to give up still want to take the swords out of your own heart you still feel unjustly treated and you know that this is wrong you want to fix it you don't want this situation to be this lopsided just so uh, so you would be loved because it's not on equal terms it's like this typical relationships where we have when uh, one that's very dominant and the other person is this person that easily blush blushes and runs and do whatever the mean uh, person says <laughs> so just to be a part of of the cool gang or to just have a friend or whatever is going on but your page of swords still don't want this and still feels that things are wrong it shouldn't be like this it should be more equal and then we have a queen of swords which comes underneath the uh, seven of cups so here things are happening uh, here you start to feel like uh, it doesn't matter like yeah we had a nice time the person finally forgive me for not doing things in the way they wanted but it's not for real so it's not for real it's not uh, the person isn't really there because they love me and cherish me and support me they are there to use me and abuse me and to make me jump through hoops for them uh, so here you're kind of ready to chop people's head off and and you're cool with how that would make you feel maybe not cool but it's like out of necessity is what i'm feeling here probably you have gotten like a windfall of energy from the divine <laughs> trying to encourage you to uh, become a little bit stronger on your own and in the center here we have the four of pentacles and this is a very grumpy person but i'm thinking this card is very supportive at this point again uh, i'm thinking it's like this you need to have your boundaries you need to take back your control you're not supposed to give uh, away all your control to other people and you know be the servant of them or you know jump when they say jump or, or whatever is going on here uh, so it's about you uh, taking back your power and here we have the sun in the reverse so sun is 19 1 plus 9 is 10 we also have the 10 of wands here so it's something it seems like you don't see because this is like when the sun has gone into the clouds and this person is like carrying their burden here and doesn't see uh, the road in front of them so i'm going to see what it is that's not being seen if we can see across this veil what it can be that's blocking the eyesight uh, angel of balance so i will read this card for you number 48 for me when i see this card it's often about past lives and i feel like people are um, more wise and uh, more valuable and have um, like if you knew all the experience you have and all the things you have been you wouldn't compromise like you like this you would have more respect for yourself so that is what i'm feeling intuitively so being centered and self-honoring in your choices this loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids reminding you that a strong destiny 
relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming into your life, not automatically by, by this hard work, you know, with the exercises uh, and the boundaries. Uh, remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her attention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Uh, so I'm feeling like you are not fully on your own side. So you're not, you're trying maybe to see things from more a piece of the world kind of perspective. How can I create harmony in this situation? no matter the cost and maybe the cost is you uh, giving up your patient source revolution here with a red flag uh, and um, kind of um, um, compromising yourself to another person as well. So I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe care for me also. So it's like you're forgetting about caring about yourself and just trying to you know, be the best version of yourself to be of servant to others and to see too that there's no conflict. It's like the whole world's, uh, like if there's conflict in your family, it's up to you to fix it. If it's a conflict in the relationship, it's out, up to you to fix it. If it's a conflict on the, um, your work, place of work, it's up to you to fix it. So that's how it feels. And you are a little bit blind to that this isn't well balanced and you think that maybe the universe is also on this other people's side and want you to be good and and you know um, bend yourself over backwards to be good and then we have a knight of wands coming here underneath the three of cups uh, so uh, this energy it feels like what is um, like the carrot in front of your face that this exciting people there that kind of lets you hang with them or be with them uh, if you uh, compromise yourself and let uh, and become like a person that's easily manipulated uh, so this is the sugar on this uh, cake and this is why you are subordinating yourself so I'm feeling you are righteously a uh, little bit pissed off here and you want to hold on to what you feel but then you kind of lose consciousness here and uh, it's like they have such a charm and such a pull on you that you lose consciousness and give them whatever they want just oh, I give it yeah yeah okay I can't you were starting off so well <laughs> with this self-love and this person is very uh, kind of self-righteous my way or the highway kind of thing and also caretaking towards yourself but uh, it seems like there's a little bit uphill for you and somewhere up the hill uh, you are getting exhausted and you're just giving up if you can just uh, ride along with this person's carriage instead of um, pulling your own uh, so that's a risk what I'm seeing with you right now that um, you're trying to smile so much and charm so much so you will be able to be a part of and your um, true uh, just uh, just uh, like a self uh, just, I, I can't find the world like this self-righteousness it's it's being silent silent by you okay and this is the future and we have the tower uh, so the divine wants to push you out and say hell if you don't want to create chaos I will do it for you uh, so you can't keep the carrot there because the carrot is moldy and it's not really your league anyway. It's like it's underneath your league because this is a person that puts um, this um, in the contract for your friendship or relationship. Uh, they have a lot of perks that you don't have. So um, they are negotiating in an unbalanced way to get favors or to be better positioned in the relationship and it's maybe they can do that because they are popular or fun to hang out with I don't know uh, but you need to see past that and see that um, maybe this person is using some kind of uh, energy 
uh, to keep people interested by giving uh, very little of themselves okay uh, so and here we have an eight of wands so it's kind of the sun's rays but I'm feeling more like this flash uh, from the divine and some kind of clarity is coming through here so you're suddenly are realizing the things that you did actually already realize you just didn't choose to stand on your own side here you knew what you knew but you still compromised yourself to be a part of something that you so much wanted to be a part of but here you can't fail to see the truth and so it will be obvious to you and here we have a, a beautiful little knight of cups <laughs> and it's so sweet okay so um you probably realize how mean these other people are to you and how much you still love them uh, so that is what i'm seeing that uh, but at least you will see the truth here that they are hurting you uh, they are you are become you are letting yourself be a victim because you want to feel good so you're seeing the truth of this and uh, you realize that you have a very hard time putting boundaries you just want them to love you okay you just want this harmony and uh, what you're getting is of course no harmony because there's no shortcuts here and uh, to be loved by a person that doesn't love you unconditionally, only loves you when you kind of behave in the way that they need you to behave so they will feel good, so they will avoid standing in this, um, this marsh or this swamp. Uh, so they push you in and stay on dry land themselves and they tell you the rules so how they can feel uh, like safe on dry land and that you need to sink deeper and deeper into the swamp and that's the rules of your relationship and this will of course make you really disappointed um, because either you have them or you don't have them you are disappointed because when you have them you realize how bad they treat you and when you don't have them you realize how much you love them and how much you want to be with them so <laughs> strength card is what's being suggested here you need to use self-control, okay? Uh, like this lady is controlling her lion, okay? You have strong passion for this person, but it doesn't seem, or these people, it can be more, it can be like your family or some bunch that doesn't treat you the best. And it's an eight of cups here and an eight strength there. Um, seven of cups, eight of cups. This is a solution to the swamp. Uh, if you don't want to be pushed into the swamp, don't agree to what this person, like the rules they want to put for their relationship, don't agree to it. Um, you need to, because even if you get this person, um, it's not really the best price uh, because either you're with them or without them, you feel disappointed. So you need to realize what it is that you're searching for, really. And the only way that you can do that is when you calm down, uh, not put yourself in these very wobbly, dramatic situations with people that have these strains on you or are able to play you <laughs> like a guitar or piano. Uh, so if you can put yourself in a little bit of a tranquil state and try to take a pause and you know listen more to what this person said look more to what they do uh, than what you engage in this relationship try to figure out what is it with this person that makes me feel so drawn in what is it that i think that they can give me what is my drug basically because it's like you're being addicted to this situation even though it's bad for you and that's kind of the definition of uh, being an abuse like a user or drug abuser because they are your drug and 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 they hurt you uh, and you can't stop uh, letting them hurt you so um that much what different drugs do to you either it's alcohol or um, other drugs <laughs> or gambling addiction it hurts your economy you continue doing it so why are you doing it? Well, you have an addiction. So what is the addiction covering up for? What is the feeling that you don't want to feel? So if you deal with the feeling itself uh, and uh, sort it out, uh, this other person won't be able to have this power over you. Okay, <laughs> so I hope this helps.
helps and I want you to um, be able to be as um, perceptive with this as possible so if you have more questions after looking at this video you can turn to the love readings that's up either for Aquarius or Pisces season or whatever season we are in when you're watching this and you can also check the pick a card and the other near personal readings on the first page of my channel so click my little queen or cups icon you will also find the dealing with pain video far down there with a green label on it so it gives you some suggestions on how to uh, how to do this how to uh, you know come on top of this so people can't use your emotions to have the upper hand on you and um, uh, I will also come with a new uh, a new love reading for every season is the next uh, when I'm sitting here right now and it will come in the end of February so uh, until then uh, take really good care and bye bye